Good morning, dearly beloved. Once again, another good day has dawned on us. My heart is full of joy because both of us are alive. And because we are alive, we will praise the name of the Lord because the dead can praise God. So I want to just assure you that the fact that Christ has given us another day, it shows that it's a miracle, it's a good thing for us that he wants us to know. And open to you, share with your uncle, and share with your uncle. I am a Niji, say, Radia Saman, Adia Asachi, if you know the young Quache, there be a Mekacha, so young Kupon, Nami in a Radia, so the young Quache, and you are not for now, so who will be pa, a Radio will be pa, our home mom, and in Timmins, through his answer, on any young Quan and Horden. We are still talking about the exploit of faith. Uh, in view of time, you see, I'm, I'm rushing, but I want you to know that just the little that you take, believe God. Today, we are going to talk about the faith that you need to confess. The faith that you need to confess. You need to speak out according to the word of God. One thing that I want you to know as a child of God is that the more you read the word of God, the more it increases your faith. And so, our faith is based on on the word of God. What the word of God speaks to us is what we depend on. The fact that we are talking about faith doesn't mean that you can just have belief in any other thing else. But we have our belief according to the word of God. And as you believe the word of God, as you trust in the word of God, faith increases and you can do exploit. Praise the Lord. And often you say, can you say, can GDR? Nia ye can say, can suffer GDN some home. In GDN, a Nina knew Nippe be a castle, and a Nina Nancy Saint be a yatiso, and a Nina Unipenim dear watcheso, ye can GDS a crystal foire, near a Gina Unyan coupon as some so, near Unyamia Samoaca. What can be be no Yamia Samoaca, and a GD ne catcher or Jose, send you Yamia Samoaca, no Saranso and a bebem. Amen. Young co. Uh, Timothy, Numa Edika, it is in Jemu Dumi, you know, first Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. He said, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called, and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Ahanania Paulo Eka Etre and in the say, Did you know? In our life as Christians, we face all kinds of turbulence. We face all kinds of challenges. We face all kinds of intimidation. But what the word of God is telling us today is that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So fight a good fight of faith. In other words, Hold on to your faith because it's through that faith that we have eternal life. It's through that faith as we confess, as we confess, we possess it. And that's why Say yes to Christo Tia say na odinim kwa atu ho apa menu mie nui enfa ho se ni atibie biara tie o suru nyanku pondi ni hobe jim se menu mie nui ye begine jidi e suwa pe mwaka it doesn't matter the situation because Christ has died and given his life unto us by faith as we confess as we fight as we move as we continue to trust in his word as we speak heaven will respond and the glory of god will come and it shall be as it is this morning i encourage you continue to fight a good fight of faith by continue confessing believing and know that as you have believed and you have confessed so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray. Father, we thank you that you said that we should fight good fight of faith and we should confess. I pray that this morning as your people 
claim and confess your promises. May that happen in the name of Jesus Christ. May the promises of God come upon someone's life. May the God who healed all our diseases as we claim our healing, may it come upon someone's life in the name of Jesus. The same God who said he has delivered us by faith. I claim deliverance for someone's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.